to this presentation on ESPP. In this session, we will explain the background behind PSPP, its application examples and set the stage for a hypothetical case study involving PSPP. So what is PSPP? PSPP is an uh, open source alternative to the proprietary statistical package SPSS. SPSS is the most commonly used statistical package for performing various levels of statistical functions on data. So PSVP has emerged as the open source alternative for this and all kinds of analysis can be performed using PSVP. So what do I use it for? We can use it for the various applications and in simple terms I conduct a survey or I collect some kinds of data. So I want to know whether there is a correlation between some of the variables, whether there is a correlation or distribution behind some of the variables, whether the data that is collected is reliable or not, and so on. So for that, I can use statistical functions. And these statistical functions are easily coded using these tools. There are two examples. The first example is taken from the source given in the slide. The second example is our own example. So in the first example, a marketing research firm wants to look at the size of the soda bottles, size of the soft drinks, and the food that the consumer consumes. Whether the food that the consumer consumes influences the soft drink that is being ordered by a customer, is there a correlation between them? Now, the second example that a teacher wants to investigate uh, the chances of a student succeeding in exams and looks at various factors such as attending classes regularly, availability of technology with the students, past academic record, family background and distance from the institution. So these are examples that of data that we come across every day and we are going to take you through these set of tutorials on how to use the statistical packages to perform the analysis of a data. So our hypothetical case study is of teachers using technology. So this is a purely a hypothetical case study. It has not been done. And it's a simple hypothetical case study. So the sample size is 100 so that you can understand what we are talking about. So there are five statements in this. One, teacher, state number one, teachers use technology in their day-to-day -day life for the teaching. So this case study was conducted among the teachers and teachers themselves say we use technology for day-to-day -day life for in our day-to-day -day life for teaching or we say we don't use technology in our day-to-day -day lives at all. So the study factors, there are five factors. P teachers either strongly agree or they strongly disagree. The Next statement is technology penetration among the teachers is very high or very low. People agree or disagree. Then there are three subjective factors. Subjective factor number one, students use technology for learning. So the teachers, in the perception of uh, teachers, whether the students use technology for learning or not, then whether there are adequate resources for the teachers, students to learn using the technology, whether the students are aware of the resources that are available. So these are the three factors and totally there are five factors. So these are survey responses. So the questions were asked of the, among the teachers, their responses was tabulated. Now to take into account the background of the uh, teachers, there are five variables that were plotted, the gender, educational levels of the teachers age group of the teachers and their marital status and finally the subject domain. So these are the five background factors that are taken. To repeat, this is purely a hypothetical case study. This is purely a hypothetical case study and we use this hypothetical case study to arrive at conclusions and demonstrate the use of PSPP in teaching and learning. What kind of conclusions can we arrive at whether the gender can in influence the technology usage, 
the whether the gender educational levels of the uh, teachers influences the technology usage whether the marital status of the teachers influences technology usage or all kinds of analysis can be performed we'll see them one by one in the next few slides come on let us explore if you have any clarifications or doubts please contact us thank you